Hi, this is a little bit unannounced again. I'm not expecting money because we are in the middle of a week day, but itchy face, it's still got my, my minor issues. You can't see, they're not bad at the moment, but still got my itches. So I'm here because, so we can get some flowers in here over here a little bit and then you've got some flowers so I'm straight out the shower that's why my hair's still a little bit wet or it's going a bit crispy now if you are here say hi hi rich I'm actually just about to start a set of night shifts today so I thought I'd get a quick quickie live in now hi Tony and in the post today, I received a decant. And it's from a show board. Hiya, Chris. Just in time to see you buttering the biscuit. You absolutely are. <laughs> so I bought this. I'm sweating as well. Um, hi, Christy. Hi, Richard. So I bought this decant from a very trusted, a long-term fragrance friend from one of the fragrance groups over on Facebook and it arrived today and I've been curious about Lay de Biscuit for quite a long time because it's a gourmand and I love gourmands and I like the idea of the the Lay means milk biscuit 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 obviously um uh, Rich is wearing Colonia Essenza, very nice. Chris is saying hi to everyone. Chris, what are you wearing? Fro uh, Tony Fragdicted, what are you wearing? Let me know. And, oh, my face. And it's a bit sweaty. Uh, Claire's determined to make sure I never sleep, says Wayne Morris. Sorry about that. Just a quickie though, Wayne, then you can go back to sleep. <laughs> Definitely just a quickie this time. So yeah, today I received late de biscuit. Um, before my shower, I did try a little bit on my arms. So this is not entirely first impressions, but it kind of is. And I've kept this arm free. Hiya, Hilary. Buenas dias. Buenas dias. I've kept this arm free. The rest of me is covered in Virgin Island water because it's so hot. And that, that I find that really nice and refreshing, but just with the sweetness of the coconut and the sugar, make it a little bit more fun. And this weather is... is pretty hot for us here in the UK we're not really used to it we don't get it that often so it's a bit sweltering uh, it's not really Lady Bisquee weather but I kept an arm free so I'm gonna spray it here we go a couple of sprays you can see it's moist couple of sprays so there's only three notes in this perfume oh tony's in colonia essenza too so you're twinning with rich um and my face is itching so lady biscuit three notes only um and if i, I probably can't remember them either uh, hillary's wearing atelier des ors kurt des Ange. it's a lovely fruity fragrance so very nice oh my bum's getting a bit sticky on the seat <laughs> Uh, it's too hot to be this hot, says Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Um, I was kind of taunting everyone in a chat earlier. But yes, it's a lovely day. Because <laughs> everyone's moaning about how hot it is. To be fair, it is a bit hot. It's that kind of heat where you just can't... My face sweats quite badly. I'm not, I don't get really sweaty like elsewhere, but my face always pours sweat out. So it's kind of gross. It's not nice to look at. So... <laughs> And uh, Christy hasn't got a fragrance yet, just coffee. Good morning, Christy. Did the sun actually explode? <laughs> nope. Nope. It's, um, yep, it's still intact. So Lady Biscuit has three notes. One of them is pastry. One of them is caramel. And the other one is vanilla. Um... Wayne says, Hillary with her fancy frags, nice one. Uh, Lizzie's wearing peony today, just nice and fresh and juicy. It's nice and fresh. That's the Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana, Dolce and Gabbana's Dolce peony. Because she sent me a sample of that. It's very nice, refreshing. 
kind of, I think I remember it smelling a bit grapefruity, but yeah, sorry about the bits of sun on my face. It looks a bit weird. Um, anywho, anywho. Right, so then three notes, pastry, caramel, vanilla. And it's almost like, it, what I found with it, the sun on my nose looks really weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might move a little bit, see if I can get properly in the shade. I don't really know if I can. I get back a bit further, right in the flowers. Is that going to be any better? Maybe. Yeah, so what I found with this is I was expecting, with a note of biscuit, I was expecting a texture of biscuit, if that makes sense. Um, so I've got a fragrance by Ganache Parfums and let's have less events. And that one has a, a, like the bite of the biscuit, the texture of the biscuit. Wayne says, I put on some vintage Shalimar before bed. I'm loving it. I feel right sexy. <laughs> Very sexy. Oh, that's a nice breeze. So what I was expecting was this texture like you get in the ganache one. You definitely get like a crumbly biscuit texture. Now biscuit as in the UK variant of biscuit, which the Americans call a cookie, just to be clear. And the French, when they say biscuit, they mean biscuit as in the English biscuit, not the American uh, biscuit, which I believe is a scone. Anyhow, we won't get into that today. Um, Wayne says, I may not look sexy, but I feel sexy. I think perfume can do that, for sure. So what I was surprised about is how smooth this is. So it's not, it's not textured, it's very smooth and creamy, but it's not exactly like you're smelling a cream. So it's called late, as in milk but it doesn't actually immediately smell milky or creamy. It's the texture is creamy, but it's like melted caramel. So imagine you melted a load of Werther's Originals, so those hard caramel toffees, but you melted them down. So they're absolutely buttery, creamy. You could stir a big vat of it and the smell of it would be coming up. Yeah, it's, it's buttery. It's like, um, if it's a biscuit, it's a buttery biscuit. But I don't know if something just went up my nose. <laughs> biscuit means twice baked, does it? Biscuit. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Ooh, gourmandy gourmand. I need a cookie, biscuit or scone with my coffee. You absolutely do, so do I. I absolutely need some sweet shit now. So this is pretty sweet, it's pretty damn sweet. Don't think that it's subtle in its sweetness, it's pretty sweet. And it's buttery and caramelly. And the vanilla is quite a sweet vanilla or basically everything's just sweet, everything's really sweet. Sweet and creamy and smooth and buttery. It's not super heavy though. So I wouldn't say this is a fragrance that you would reach for in mid-December in the evening to wear by the fireplace because it's not really full on heavy, even though it's sweet. Yeah, I could do some twice baked too now. <laughs> Anyhow, try not to eat that kind of stuff. But I could just <laughs> probably won't taste as good as it smells. I have a sense that this might be quite linear. Now I don't know. You can't you can't judge things like that. But you can, sometimes a lot of gourmands can be quite linear. And this is at the moment I can't imagine how what else can happen. Um, but I could be surprised. So the way they describe the fragrance is uh, with the with each note, each of the even though it's three notes, what they're saying is each note could be. It's kind of like down to your own interpretation. So the pastry note you might interpret as a lady fingers. Don't be rude. Or 
I can't remember what the other example they gave you, but I think you could you could picture in your own own mind whatever pastry comes to mind when you smell it. Same goes for the caramel. You might be thinking of toffees. You might be thinking of a different type of caramel, and the vanilla. They describe it as quite a subtle vanilla, and that you might be thinking of vanilla ice, or you might be thinking of uh, what else did they say? Can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. But basically, each note is down to your own interpretation. So. Um, to me, everything's all blended together. So I, I feel like I can smell everything straight away, but in this big creamy vat of buttery goodness, oily even, yeah, like imagine like fat oil kind of co coming out of it. Yeah. There could be just a hint of wafer, so ice cream cone wafer but just a tiny hint so you've got your big vat of oily glutinous sugary heart attack and then you take a wafer and you dip it in and yeah it's kind of like that um anyway says does it come off as milky at all i really struggle with milky bits on the skin just because it has lay in the name i don't think it is not at the moment. It's maybe it does. It's creamy in texture. Maybe it does a tiny bit, but not um, not to any degree. Not to any strong degree. I don't think. May I? It's difficult to say. I think of things that have got a milky note. Um, it doesn't smell like you're smelling a cup of milk and it doesn't smell like you're smelling a cup of cream. But there's probably a, an element of that, but it's all blended, it's all blended. Everything's blended completely together. So it might have a hint of creaminess almost like you've got your melted caramels maybe some melted vanilla ice cream maybe a couple of tablespoons of whipped cream and then all blended together so it's not really like that any one thing exactly stands out it's just a hot it's just a big mix of everything that you want to eat but you know will make your teeth rot. You will want to clean your teeth immediately after eating a spoonful of this. Your teeth will be coated. <laughs> they will have that texture, like you'll run your, your tongue on your teeth and it'll, be, it'll feel gritty after you've had one teaspoon of this. Mm. Um, let me just catch up on your comments. Hilary says, ooh cake. Uh, Lizzie says, Tony, you're a once baked cake man. <laughs> um, and to uh, Tony says, who said cake? Wayne says, please stop with the food. No, don't. I need you to stop with the food. I'm trying not to eat sugar at the moment. Tony, I seriously need to start training again. I was doing a TikTok dance with Phoebe and jiggling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> still wobbling now and that was an hour ago I'll join join us ladies that's, that's how it's like <laughs> and Heather says good morning Claire and everyone Christy says no jiggling Tony keep dancing yeah the more you dance Tony the less eventually you'll jiggle <laughs> Lizzie says sounds like it's something worth licking mm, they, yes um, Tony says he's not happy with his jiggly bits. He blames Tesco's. Um, and Scott's here as well. Hi, Scott. And Wayne says he's going to go and get some caramel milk. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. I like the sound of it. So, yeah, there's not really a great deal more I can say about this. It is a bit too sweet for today, that's for sure. Yeah, it might be slightly changing now on my skin, but not to any real 
degree that I can explain. Maybe there's a touch more texture coming through so it's not quite as smooth. Still pretty damn smooth though. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. It does remind me of food. The kind of food you eat at the fair. Like maybe, yeah, I guess like toffee apples without the apple. Um, it's toffee, it's caramel. It's maybe even a bit of uh, caramel popcorn. Yeah, it could even be popcorn, but the popcorn without the pop, it's caramel popcorn without the popcorn, maybe. Yeah, it, it is, it's fair, it's fairground food. That's how it smells to me. So uh, I guess the um, candy floss machines, they give off that lovely sugary scent. It's all the sweet stuff. It's all the sweet stuff, but not anything fruity. It's maybe a touch nutty. When I first smelt it, I thought I got a little bit of almond. It could be just a tiny hint of almond in here. But in truth, I think I'm just fine. I'm trying to find something more to say, but actually I think it's just a really simplistic fragrance. But I think the closest thing I could get to ballpark of what this is like is Shane Blue salted caramel but that does give me strong popcorn vibes this doesn't really this just gives me creamy toffee sugar melted caramel yeah the kind of like toffee sauce that you put on top of ice cream that kind of stuff Tony needs to go food shopping soon. Anyone want anything? Yeah, I actually need a food shop, Tony. So you can, uh, I'll send you the list. That would be so nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, and Scott says, don't worry, we've all got locked down. Jiggly bits. Christy says, will it make you feel ill on such a warm day? No, it's not. I mean, I wouldn't wear it as my fragrance everywhere, but I think just a little bit on my hand is not a problem, but I wouldn't wear it properly today. Definitely not. Uh, Wayne wants a pulled pork quesadilla. If Chris or Hillary can cook, can hook me up. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. And have a halo top ice cream, please. Oh yeah, you can eat a whole tub of that for about 360 calories. And Hillary says that's what she had for lunch yesterday. The quesadilla, I'm guessing, not the halo top ice cream. <laughs> uh, Hilary says she'd eat it long before she shipped it. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end it there because I actually do need to go and get some food myself. I try not to buy the sugary stuff. It's going to be tough now. Um, don't forget to like. I've got five likes. I reckon we can double that just click that damn like button and I am going to head off and get some food so I hope you are all going to have a fabulous day thanks for joining me for a, this little quickie and then I'll be on some night shifts so I might not see you for a short while <laughs> um, Wayne says no Claire don't go I'll have to sleep Wayne get some sleep you need it you deserve it <laughs> so bye everyone